The next step is to insert the rotor, the spinning part of the motor, into the enclosure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pointy end first. I'm going to poke it through like that. Poke the other side through like that so that now it's spinning freely inside the enclosure. And there really should be very, very little friction. And if you've done this well, there should be very little wobble and the whole rotor should be very balanced. Now, we're going to put our magnets out here. So you want to position the rotor like this. It doesn't matter so much where the commutator is, but you want the coil to be close to the end because the magnets are going to sit at this end. The magnets are very strong. If you were to put the magnets in the middle, the enclosure would bow, and I don't want it to bow. So we're going to put the magnets out here. Therefore, the coil need, needs to be adjacent to those magnets. So the most important thing is that the coil is somewhere close to one of the ends. Now, as this thing is spinning, we obviously don't want it to go back and forth like this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use some office tape. And using office tape, we're going to wind some tape around both ends so that we can prevent the skewer from moving back and forth as that rotor spins. So let's do that first. Using some office tape, I'm going to start some tape here. I'm going to just turn and that really prevents this now from moving back in that direction. Next, I'm going to do it the same thing to the other side using office tape down here. And now when my my motor spins, it can't it can't move back and forth. It has to spin right in there. The next step, after your coil has been positioned inside your enclosure box, we're going to take two neodymium magnets. Hold them apart like this, and you're going to put them like this, just the way you pulled them apart. And hold them down with your fingers like that, and take a washer and place that washer right here and that will keep the magnet from falling. You, will, you won't have to tape it if you use that little washer there. And then same thing here. You've got a magnet on that side. Hold it with your finger, grab a washer, and just put it here. And now those two magnets are sitting right there and they're being held by those two inside washer. And so now you have a north-south magnet running from one side of the box to the other. Okay, so the next step is to test again the motor. So we're going to test it every step of the way. So again, using our battery pack, okay, and our two and our two ends of the battery. I'm going to test this to see if it's working. And I'm going to, if it doesn't work, I'm going to turn it over, try it that way, just see if I can get this thing to spin. Now notice, when I go to test it, it doesn't spin, okay? So the most important thing to do at this point is check your magnets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these two washers and just make sure that the magnets stick. So the way that they, these two sides right here, 
the, this is where these are the edges that need to touch the side of the box. If one of these gets turned around, it's not going to work. Okay, so you pull it apart, and just the way you've pulled it apart, like this, that's the way it's going to go onto the box. If they get turned around, it won't work. So you may have to test, test it a couple times just to make sure the magnetic field and it all should be lined up with the coil. So let's test it again and see if that fixed it. Oh, wants to do something there. What you might want to do is clip this onto here and pull that insulation off so that you can pull it off like that. And that may make it easier to test the motor. So just pull the insulation off like that so that you have two metal pieces and then just just gently lay it on there. There we go. Sometimes you just got to find the sweet spot where things line up right. So I'm just using the edges of these clips um, as the brushes. And so the current is, a is able to get to the coil, but it's also able to change direction every 180 degrees.